Hi everyone, welcome back. I've got a really exciting video today because I'm gonna be playing with some makeup that I got for Christmas and birthday. So if you are new here, then hello, nice to have you. But if you have seen any of my recent videos, you may recall that last year I was on a replacement only no buy. So I was only allowed to buy makeup if I completely ran out of something. So for the entirety of last year, basically whenever I did a wish list video, the brand that kept reappearing in those videos was Vive. And I had a wish list of so many Vive products that when it came to Christmas this year, I put a lot of those products on my, I guess my Christmas list. So what my family like to do is they like to get ideas of me as to what I want for Christmas and birthday. They prefer to do that rather than just buying something that they think I might like. They'd rather know what I would like to have so I'm quite fortunate in that I have my mum that wants ideas my brother does and my dad and stepmom so bar a couple of other little things most of my Christmas and birthday wish list was Vive makeup and to make things easier I just wrote down all the things that I would like to get from Vive and I did say to them you know this is a lot of stuff I've just made it easier I've listed everything that I would like to own from the brand so you can pick and choose what you want to get but because I had three basically four people get me presents for both Christmas and birthday, which are very close to each other. I did end up with quite a lot of Vive makeup. So that's why I'm so excited to film this video because all of this makeup has just been sat on my dressing table waiting for me to do this video. So I've opened it, I've looked at these items multiple times, but I have not used any of them. So I am really, really excited to play with a lot of this makeup in today's video. So it's gonna be a little bit of a first impressions type video. And in terms of the makeup that I have on my face currently, I've got my Estee Lauder Double Wear Light Foundation, Fenty Concealers and Laura Mercier Powder. So in terms of what I've got for Vive makeup out in front of me here, I've got enough to do basically an entire rest of my face of makeup. So I'm gonna zoom you in and we're gonna get started because I just, I can't wait any longer. Excuse my skin, by the way, I've got some breakouts at the moment and I don't know why. I don't know why it's playing up but we're just gonna deal with it. So first makeup item I'm gonna be testing out, I'm so excited, is obviously Vive. I'm gonna keep saying that throughout this video pro probably, but this is the Vive Modern Bronzer Bronzing Duo in the shade Light, or Shades Light, one and two. This is shade one, this is shade two. So shade two is just ever so slightly darker in tone. So I think how Jamie has designed it is that you bronze mostly with one and then you use the darker shade more as like up here on your cheekbones to create a little bit more of dimension. So that is what I'm gonna do. I do have some brushes that are in the wash, but I think for bronzer, I'm gonna go for this Bare Minerals Tapered Face Brush, which the handle has broken. I need to get some new ones. Oh, it's got the plastic on the mirror. Oh wait, hang on. Hey. Also, I just wanna say about the packaging. All of this packaging is stunning. It comes in these black boxes with gold embossed writing on. Super simple, but effective. Really, really luxe looking. And then the packages themselves are black with the gold writing here. Same for the lipsticks. So they all look really good quality. And then the bronzer itself has a mirror there as well. So that's really handy. And the bronzer feels quite thick the packaging does it feels quite sturdy but not bulky so let's try it i'm literally just gonna tap in like that tap the excess off and just build it up slowly on the high points of my cheekbones i'm gonna need a bit more Yeah, that's a good match for me. I don't want anything darker. I'm not seeing a lot of fallout in the pan, which is good. I mean, I know that's to be expected when it comes to powders, but I still don't like to see a lot of it, you know? bit on the bridge of my nose. I like that, that's quite subtle. So if you like a bit more of a bronzed effect, then obviously apply a bit more, go for possibly the shade up as well. But I think medium on me would be too dark. And also remember you have that darker shade as well, so maybe put a bit more of that darker shade on. 
which is what I'm going to do now. Let's try a bit of that, a bit more up here. Yeah, that is darker, isn't it? Nice. So that's the bronzer. So I like my bronzer quite subtle. So obviously if you like more of a bronze look, just apply more. But I'm happy with this for now. If I finish the eye look and I want to go in with more bronzer, I will do so. But I like that. That's really soft, really easy to blend. And no kind of fallout basically on here. The palette is still very clean, which I like. So we're off to a good start with that. Right, next I'm going to use a blusher. I quite fortunately received all three blushes that I put on my wish list. Basically what I did with my wish list is that I listed all the items that are targeted more towards sort of warm complexions. So I put Pesca, Piazza and Sorbet on my wish list and I luckily received all three of them. My family are very generous. And I'm gonna go for the shade Pesca, which is this one here, really nice peach color. I think this will probably be the shade that I use the most out of the three that I received. So for blusher, I'm gonna use this Real Techniques one. It's probably not the best one to use. Again, I'm just gonna dip in a little bit, tap the excess off. Super pretty color. Again, really easy to blend, really easy to build up. We need to blend that out a little bit. It's a little bit too firm. I possibly needed a looser blush, 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 brusher, blush, but I'll fix it. It's okay. Pretty. I like it. I just want to say as well, you may have noticed, I am not a professional makeup artist. I'm just an enthusiastic consumer. So please do not judge the application because my application of makeup isn't that good at all. But I'm just doing this video to show you guys just how pretty all of the makeup is. Okay, next bit, possibly my most favorite part is eyes. And I received two eye ones. I received them in the shades Sand and Camel. And I'm gonna use Sand, the lightest shade out of the two that I bought, but not the lightest that they do. I think Vanilla is the lightest that they do. But I'm gonna use Sand as like an eyeshadow primer. And like any eyeshadow stick, it's just a twisty one. I'm just gonna draw this onto my eye and then blend out. Oh, that might be too dark as an eyeshadow base. There we go. That's all I'm going to use for this eye. And then just blend this out. This is a Zoeva 228 brush, fluffy brush. Well, that was super easy to blend. I like that. And these shadow sticks are great as well for real quick, easy one shade and done look they do get a little bit messy though already I do have a bit of shadow stick on the actual applicator but that doesn't bother me That's a really nice shade for just a little bit of something on your eyes, but not a lot at all. That's really nice. Mm. Okay, on to my favourite part. I received both eyeshadow palettes, and the one that I'm going to use today oh, is this one. I mean, this is the Essentials palette. This is the one she came out with in October 2020, I think. And I wasn't on my no buy then, and I was thinking about buying it, but I held off. And then because I was on my no buy last year, it meant I couldn't purchase it at all. But it is now in my collection. This is what it looks like. Just take a look at that. This palette is right up my street. Neutrals, warm tones, mixtures of shimmers and mattes. Just stunning. And the pans are huge. It's going to take ages to get through these big pans. 
Also with the palette, you do have a big mirror and I think it's designed so you can, yeah, you can, you can fold it round like that. So you can dip into your shades here and then you flip it round and you've got the mirror. I'm not sure how I feel about that though because I, knowing me and how clumsy I am, I might slip and then dig my nails into the pans. So I think I'm just gonna go for a real basic everyday brown shimmery gold eye. So I'm gonna start off with the shade Buff, this one here in my crease. And I'm just gonna use an Estee Lauder brush. So that was just a few taps. Oh, actually this is handy because you can hold, there's my camera, hold the mirror lengthways. Oh, actually, that's really handy. So I'm just gonna start blending this above my crease. I'm starting to get into doing eyeshadow for my eye shape. And I've got hooded eyes. I don't have a lot of visible lid space. So I've got to remember to do the crease shade above my actual crease. Again, real minimal fallout with these shades. Really easy to blend as well. This shade here, so buff, goes really well with sand, the eyeshadow stick. They're a good pairing. Nice, really easy to blend, really lovely colour. Okay, I'm going to take a smaller blending brush. This is the Sigma E42. This is a new brush, actually. I only bought this a couple of days ago. It arrived yesterday. And I'm going to use the shade Delicious, just below the shade Buff, just to darken it a little bit. I really like this little Sigma brush. This is great for being a bit more precise with where you're placing your colours. I'm going to take a little bit more of that shade actually and just focus that a bit more in that outer corner. So I want to put some of the shimmers on my lid. Honestly, these are so easy to blend. So impressed with these eyeshadows so far. I'm just gonna use a bit of NYX Glitter Primer on the rest of my lid, just to give something for those shimmery shades to stick to a bit more. I will use a flat packer brush. I might end up using my finger, but I'm gonna use a brush first, just to see how it compares. So I'm gonna start off with Carrot, this one here, in the inner third of my eye. Yeah, you see that's not that intense. Okay, right, let's try it with my finger. Yep, yeah, immediately much better. I will tidy this up a little bit. A little bit of fallout with the glitter but that's kind of to be expected it is a glitter shade after all I'm then going to try Thea that darker gold there in the center of the lid I'm going to build this one up a bit more than carrot Well, I'm just going to put a little bit of Good Night, that black shade there, just in that outer corner, just to build up a little bit of that darkness. Well, that's possibly too much. I only dipped in twice. Yeah, these are very pigmented. You only need a little bit. I'm 
Right, I'm going to take some of Chow, that orange shade there, and I'm going to use the brush that I used for the eyeshadow stick. And I just want to go over the outer parts of the entire eyeshadow look, just to soften it a little bit. Okay, and then to highlight, I'm going to use Glimmer. I think these shimmers might work a bit better if I get my brush wet or if I use a bit of setting spray on my brush. But that is a nice inner corner highlight shade though. Okay, and then I'm just going to take Buff and Delicious under my lower lash line. And then just run a bit of chow through it as well. Okay, I'm gonna use Good Night as a liner. This is a really pigmented black eyeshadow. This is gonna be great for lining. Pretty, I really like this palette. I think it's so beautiful. The mattes are really easy to blend. Little bit of a shame that you get quite a bit of fallout with the shimmers, but I think I just need to play about with them a bit more and figure out the best way to apply them. Like I say, it may be best wetting my brush with something like a setting spray and try and get that way. But for now, I like that, really easy to blend. Right, I just finished off the eyes with my Hourglass Unlocked Instant Extensions Mascara. And then in my brows is my Benefit Gimme Brow in shade three. So I'm now gonna move on to lips. And I've got three lip liners and three lipsticks by Vive. I've got the lip liners here and I've got them in the shades Velvet Sand, which is the lightest. Bark, which is the second lightest. And then Rumor, which is the darkest. So this is them here. So Velvet Sands at the top. Then we've got Bark and then Rumour. So Rumour is a little bit more like ready in tone. And then with the lipsticks, so I've got Treasure there, Power Suit, and then Coming In Hot or Coming In Hoped at the bottom. I'm gonna go for Velvet Sands Lip Liner. They apply quite creamy, which is nice. Nice, I like that shade. That's very much a me, nudey lip type of shade. And then I'm gonna go for coming in hot or coming in hot. Quite pigmented it's kind of like an exact match to velvet sands lip liner so i possibly could have gone for a shade darker on the lip liner to get more of a sort of effect but i don't like to do that too much because i think it's a little bit obvious on me do what i always do blot it with a tissue and go in for a second coat Yeah, that is definitely a me type of lipstick shade. I really like that. And in terms of the rest of the makeup, the blusher and bronzer, I'm happy with the amount that I've got on. So I'll zoom you in a little bit closer so you can see the eye look. So this is how the eyes look. So like I say, I'm not a professional, so I know it's not amazing, but it gives you an idea as to the colours and how blendable they are. Really love these shades. I just think they are so up my street. Really, really pretty. Lovely neutral palette, but you can also make some more smoky looks as well. So, so far, 
I am really impressed with all of the makeup that I have tried from Vive. So that bronzer is really buildable, it's really blendable as well. The colours aren't really muddy, aren't really orange. Even the darker shade as well, which I was a little bit apprehensive because sometimes bronzer can look a little bit muddy, especially on really sort of like fair complexions like my own. So really like that. The blusher is really pretty, a really buildable shade. Also, this is my kind of shade, a real nice light peach like that. I feel like that can go with a lot of makeup looks. I didn't get a highlighter, but that's because if you've seen any of my other videos, you know I'm not a highlighter fan, so I wasn't bothered about getting any of them. But actually, from the eyeshadow palette, you could possibly use Glimmer as a highlighter. I might try that now, actually. Oh, that does work. I'm not sure if you're seeing that shimmer come through, but that does work as a highlighter. Oh, good to know. Nice, pretty. And yeah, the eyeshadow palette is stunning. Like I keep saying, my kind of shades. I love me a warm neutral eyeshadow palette, so I think I'm gonna get a huge amount of use out of this palette but I just need to practice with the shimmer shades just to prevent the fallout that I had so like I say I will try it next time with a setting spray on my eyeshadow brush and see how that goes and then with the lips as well I love a neutral lipstick so I like that I have these sort of three tones to play about with I've got the lighter one there or I can go a little bit vampier and more orange there the lip liners will go great with them as well. And the lip liners applied really smoothly. They were really creamy, but I don't feel like they're going to transfer. The packaging is really nice as well. I do like the gold detailing. It all looks really chic out here in front of me, actually. The lipstick feels really nice as well. I feel like it's quite comfortable. It should hopefully last a good amount of time as well. But my lips don't feel dry yet. So all in all, really, really happy with the V products that I've tried. And I'm excited to try all the other ones as well and see how they compare. So I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe if you haven't as well. It would be lovely to have you here. Thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you soon. Bye.